Okay, in this second video about the unit circle, I'm going to go over a kind of a trick or just a strategy for remembering the cosine value, so the x coordinate, and the sine value, so the y coordinate, of three really common angles that you see in the unit circle, and they're the building blocks for all the other angles that, that you'll see. And those are pi over 6, pi over 4, and pi over 3. If pi over 6 does not <clears throat> remind you of how many degrees it is, remember that 360 degrees all the way around the circle is 2 pi. So when you break it down, 1 pi would be 180 degrees. And when you divide 180 degrees into 6 pieces, you know that pi over 6 is equal to 30 degrees. And I'm going to label it right here. 30 degrees, we're going to say, is about right here, pi over 6. Pi over 4 is equivalent to 45 degrees. I'll label it here in the middle, pi over 4. And pi over 3 is equal to 60 degrees. I'll label it here. So the trick, the strategy for finding the sine and the cosine has three parts. The first part is that the denominator of the sine and the cosine for all three angles is 2. So the denominator is 2. We can fill that in for x and y for all three angles. So 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2. Easy enough. The second part is that there's a pattern to the numerators. And the pattern goes like this. As you move down, it goes 1, 2, 3 for the cosine, which is the x value. So I'll write x value. And as you move up, it goes 1, two, three for the y value. This makes sense because as you move up, your height is getting taller, so your y value is getting bigger. Let me fill these in. We have one, two, three for the x value, and one, two, three for the y value. Remember, math is all about patterns, and here's a pattern that we see on these three really common angles. The third and final step is that we will take the square root of every numerator of the top of every fraction. And let's see, I'll show that in, show that in black to make it stand up. I'm going to start right here, square root of 3. And that's a decimal, so I'll leave it like that. Square root of 2, that's also a decimal, so I'll leave it like that. Square root of 1. But that's a waste of time to write, because the square root of 1 is still 1. So I'm just going to take off the square root for that one time, and I'll leave that number as 1 half. Going back the other direction, we have square root of 3, square root of 2, and again, I can write square root of 1, but it's a waste of time, because it will be equal to 1 half. So let me get out of the way so that you can finish copying down these notes. And remember that, yes, this is only for 30 degrees, 45 degrees, and 60 degrees, but the angles start to repeat in all four quadrants of the circle. And the only difference between the angles on the other side, so thinking about 120 degrees and 135 degrees and 150 degrees, the only difference is that sometimes the sine and cosine will be negative. For instance, if you have a negative x value or a negative y value. So these are the building blocks of the whole unit circle and will help a lot if you have this committed to memory. 